In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host Webflow websites for free. My name's Rory, I'm a web designer at Propeller Digital and I use Webflow for building the majority of my own personal websites and websites for my clients. So Webflow will charge you per website that you want to host and they've recently increased their hosting fees per site, they've gone up a bit. Now in our day-to-day -day work, this usually isn't a problem, especially when we work for larger businesses for whom this is a, a drop in the water for their monthly hosting. But sometimes we work for charities who are trying to keep their costs as low as possible. Sometimes I'll do a site here and there for friends or family who are just starting out in business, trying to keep fees as low as possible. And for myself as a web designer, I have a lot of personal sites, sites for side businesses, uh, three at the minute, which if I was paying for this plan here is going to be $90 a month if I pay by the month. So it adds up quickly when you're a web designer yourself and you want to host all these sites. But there is a way to do this for free. Now there are two costs involved. The first is you need one of these workspace plans that allow you to host a lot of sites and also to export the code out of your sites. So I'm on this agency plan. It gives me an unlimited amount of websites on my Webflow account and I can export the code from all of those. So when I'm inside of Webflow, there is an option up here at the top to export your code. And that's going to export everything, except it won't export your CMS items and it won't export your e-commerce products. Now, I don't know if this works with e-commerce. I haven't tried it before, but the way we get around this is we use a service called Udesly. Now, Udesly is $99 a year for an unlimited amount of sites. So you have your agency or freelancer plan with Webflow and you have Udesly. So there are two monthly costs there, but that 99 a year is my three sites paid for, plus all of the client websites that I want to host. And Udesly is a converter, and what it does is it converts your website into something called a Jamstack website. These are static sites, which is pretty much what Webflow is, where you just have your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript. You don't have any PHP code or code that's working on your website every time that you load it up. And that's why we can export this and we can pretty much host it wherever we want. But Udesty is gonna give us a couple of powerful features that I'll get into. So you export your site, you prepare your zip, you download your zip when it's ready and you head on over to Udesly. There is a free plan. It's just gonna add a website by Udesly badge in the bottom, similar to the Maiden Webflow badge that you get when you're not paying for a plan. And it's gonna let us just drop our zip file right in here. The other thing Udesly is going to give you is it's going to give you a Chrome extension called Udesly Template Configurator. And what you do is you run this in your Webflow site and you pick which one of these you're going to use. This also lets you convert your Webflow site to a Shopify, WordPress, or a Ghost blog team. Not something I've done. Some of my colleagues are using this for Shopify at the minute. And this is going to do a couple of things. Most importantly, it's going to export your CMS structure and all your blog posts. And it's gonna give you a way of managing that outside of Webflow, which I'll get into in a moment. So that's downloaded back over to Udesly and I will select this file, which is basically my CMS and all my posts inside it. You have the options for JavaScript functions if that's something you do. It's not something I'm in need of at the minute and additional assets like images if you're having to add any externally that aren't in Webflow. And I'm going to go ahead and convert and that's going to do all the work needed to turn this into a Jamstack website. Now, the next thing you need is a GitHub account, which is free. Um, if you haven't used GitHub before, don't worry about it. It's mainly developers that use it for uploading code, managing code, working on it with their colleagues. But all it's gonna do for us is it's going to store our Webflow site on GitHub automatically. So I will hit upload to GitHub. I have a repository, which is just a, like a, a bucket where my code is stored. And I'm gonna upload it to that and that's it, that's Webflow to Udesly and Udesly to GitHub. The final step 
is to sign up to Netlify. So Netlify provides free hosting, netlify.com, free hosting for Jamstack websites. Now, if you're wondering how it's free, because as I mentioned before, Jamstack websites don't need to run any code in the back end, they're able to provide quite a generous free plan. We've actually used this for quite a number of, of business websites, more so when our developers custom code websites from scratch, they go over here onto the starter plan. If you use something like WordPress, the reason you don't get hosting on that for free is every time you visit the WordPress site, it has to run all this code. It has to see what page you're going to. It has to pull the information into the database of PHP. That uses up server resources that cost the company more than this would, because this is essentially just hosting some files and sending them to your browser. So you set up your free plan and you will be able to make, I think it's an unlimited number of websites on the free plan. They're just limited by bandwidth. Um, but it's quite a lot, yeah, it's, it's 100 gig of bandwidth per, per account, which is, which is quite a bit. But anyways, what you're gonna do in here is you're gonna click add new site and import an existing project. And what you do is you connect to GitHub and you select the repository that you created with Udesly. And Netlify will then automatically update your website every time you upload to GitHub. So the way this works is you just do this process every time you want to update your site. That's the disadvantage of this. That's what makes this not as good as Webflow is. With Webflow, you just click publish and your website is updated in a couple of seconds. The additional step that, you know, the, the drawback for using this for free is that step I did at the start where you download your zip file and upload it. You need to do that each time you want to update your website. So if I go in here and I make some changes to my site, I will be going back up here, downloading the zip file and uploading it to Udesly. But everything after that is automatic. Udesly automatically pushes it to GitHub and Netlify will automatically detect that change, pull in the new files and publish your website. So if I go back here, we can see my list of websites. If I go into this one, which I just published, this is the deploy, they call it. Every time you update your website, it deploys it again. So this has actually already done it. It detected the upload to GitHub, it pulled it in, and it has hosted it now for free. Clarityacademy.cc. There is my Webflow website hosted for free. So this typically works best on websites that you're not going to make a lot of changes on. Um, this is a side business of mine, and if this ends up blowing up in a couple of months or years and I have to do a lot of work on it, um, I'll probably just pay for the Webflow plan. But I like using this for now because this is a new business. It's not generating anything yet. I don't want to be losing money on it. And I'm already paying for some online tools to run this business. So this is a handy way of just keeping the costs down, especially since I have multiple websites like this that I want to host. So that's all automated. Once you upload it to Udesly, it goes to GitHub. There's some other things you can do in here. You can connect your custom domain for free, which is quite rare on hosting these days that it'll let you do that. That's something you have to pay for in Webflow. But I simply just connect up my domain. I add some DNS records to point it to Netlify. They give me an SSL certificate free of charge. And the other handy thing they have for free, they have some other things you can pay for. You can do split testing, A-B testing, you can do analytics, kind of like a simpler version of Google Analytics. Another very handy thing is it will automatically detect the forms on your website and will use Netlify forms to get submissions for those. So that's something, again, you don't get if you just export your Webflow site and host it somewhere else, you're not going to have working forms. Udesly will automatically do the little tweaking that's required on your forms to get them working with Netlify. Now, there is a limit on form submissions. It's 100 per month, it's $19 if you exceed that. But if we go over and look at the Webflow pricing and search for form, okay, you do get, you do get a lot more. You get 500 monthly form submissions on the basic plan, you get 1,000 on the other one. One way around that would be to use something like Airtable to create a form and that would get by that. But again, 
this is a new business for me. I'm not expecting to get a hundred form submissions. Um, when people are registering their interest in what I offer here, they actually do that through MailChimp. So the forms are only really for people that want to get in touch or reach out. But I have my email on this, I have my LinkedIn on this. So this suits my needs perfectly. The last thing that you may need for some websites is the ability to edit the CMS. So I have some charity websites where they need to be able to go in and they need to be able to update a list of events, similar to how you would in Webflow. And you can do this using something called Netlify CMS. It's quite a basic CMS. It's not as good as the Webflow one. It doesn't look as nice, but sometimes it just does the trick. It works for what I need. So what we can do here is click enable identity and we'll add a user and we'll send this to my personal email and send that off. And we will go in there to my email and there is my invite and I'll click accept and it will ask me to create a password, sign up. I believe you can have up to a thousand people for free on Netlify identity. With Webflow, when you or your client wants to log into the editor, you put a question mark edit at the end of your site with um, Netlify CMS, it's admin. Now there is one step that I forgot to do here. I need to go to settings and usage and I just need to enable this uh, Git gateway. Uh, frankly, not entirely sure what this is. I just know that I need to enable it to get this to work. Um, so yeah, you go, you go into the settings for identity. If you're setting this up, enable Git gateway. And now I should be able to log in. There we go. Okay. so. This essentially replaces the Webflow CMS. Now, for all intents and purposes, it works pretty much the same way. The big thing you're missing is the client can't edit the pages. They don't get access to the Webflow editor that lets you go on to the static pages, change the images, change where the links are going, change the text. It only gives them access to the CMS. Now, again, for me, this is fine. Um, for me, I won't even use this. I will do my CMS work inside of Webflow, especially because on their updated pricing, they used to only let you have 50 CMS items per free unhosted website. I think that's now gone up to something like a thousand. So if we go down here and check, um, we get full CMS access on unhosted websites. Um, they're also adding guest access in client workspaces which means that you can, I think, give people editor access before you launch the website. Um, so maybe you won't even have to use this in the future. Um, but for when I do have a client, typically a charity that needs to be able to get in and just edit what's in the CMS. Um, usually they don't want to go near the Webflow editor anyways, they will pay me to do that. But when they need to go in and add it, add content, change content. Um, you can basically do that in here, just like your typical, um, your typical Webflow CMS editor. So only thing is it looks a bit ugly. This is meant to be a preview of how it looks. It isn't an actual preview. It doesn't show you what I have set up in my Webflow CMS templates, but we do just get all of this over here. So this is what you set up in Webflow CMS. And the Udesly Chrome plugin is what pulls all this information in. And part of what Udesly does for that 99 bucks a year is it does all this setup. It gets it working with this external CMS. So just like usual, you can edit this content. You can save it if you're not ready to publish it and you can publish it when you're ready. And that's pretty much it. So to recap, you need to be on a workspaces plan in Webflow you need to prepare and download the zip file for your website. You run the Udesly plugin. That gives you two files that you upload into Udesly, your zip file and your Udesly config file. That will then automatically push to GitHub. Netlify automatically detects the update on GitHub and it starts a new deploy, which will pull all the information from GitHub and then your website is hosted for free. Um, from what I can tell, it's it's pretty much as fast as Webflow, sometimes a little faster, sometimes a little slower. 
Um, but it's just a handy tool to have in your toolkit. In general, I wouldn't recommend having too many clients on this because un unless you're charging them well for the updates, just because you do have to go in and do this step every time. But for smaller websites, for friends and family that you might do work for, for your own personal websites, I find this perfect. Um, it's been a great tool. It's been a good cost saving measure and um, highly recommend it to anyone that has this as a use case for themselves or for clients or for charities or for friends and family. So that's all for this video. Keep a lookout on my LinkedIn and my YouTube for upcoming videos on tips and tricks in the world of Webflow web design.